Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Data Communications and Networks. In today's class, we are going to learn about transport services by file transfer. So, in a transport services by file transfer, we are talking or discussing about a protocol called as FTP protocol. Okay. So, this particular FTP stands for file transfer protocol. Okay. So, as the name indicates, file transfer protocol, it is provided by the TCP IP protocols used for transmitting the files from one host to the another. Okay. So, when mainly whenever we are using a web pages or some uh, kind of servers with respect to the uh, internet, okay, whenever you are trying to access the uh, files present in the web pages or downloading the web page. Uh, files present in the web pages or whenever we are trying to transfer the data from one web page or the one service to the another server okay this particular file transfer protocol is much more utilized okay so what are the main objectives of file transfer protocol ftp okay so the ftp file transfer protocol first thing is it provides the sharing of files through internet with the help of a server it can able to provide the sharing of the files. So sharing of the files can be done very much easily using the FTP protocol. Okay. So by this, what's happening, it is used to encourage many more remote computers. So once a server will be uh, attached between multiple hosts or computer. So using that server, we can share all the files using that. And for that sh sharing of the files, we require a protocol where this file transfer protocol is very much helpful okay now the third point is it tr transfers the data more reliably as well as efficiently okay so if at all there is some delay if at all there is some loss of data okay so it won't be uh, the all these uh, disadvantages can be avoided with the help of a file transfer protocol and efficiently without any loss and with respect to time the data can be transferred easily between the host with the help of a server why ftp okay so it's a transferring of files or uh, downloading the files is just a simple and forward kind of thing right okay but sometimes it causes problems for example uh, let us take two systems system a as well as system b okay so these two systems may be having some different file directory structures okay so at that particular point of time, in, in order to exchange the data between the two systems which are representing the text or data in the different ways, uh, this particular FTP protocol uh, will help in uh, a good uh, understanding and establish a good understanding between these two hosts. Okay, Even though the text or the data representation is different, it helps in smooth transfer of the data. Okay, So... Uh, all this file transfer protocol overcome this kind of problems, which is having a different representation of the text or the directory structures. It establish a good connection between the hosts. Okay, and uh, uh, mostly the FTP. Whenever the file transfer protocol is used, uh, two connections are much more uh, preferred. One is like data transfer, and one is like used for control connection. Okay, so let's see how this data transfer and control connection is represented. See, so this is a basic model of FTP. You have, uh, as I have already said, you will be uh, using a file transfer protocol provided by the TCP IP for the data connection. Here you can see we have a server as well as client. Okay, so this particular server will also have control process or the data transfer process, whatever the process happening within in order to uh, have a good communication or exchange of data between this particular uh, host and the client can be the uh, host machine which can be considered as a user so that particular user will be having a user interface like a touch kind of thing or a button kind of thing in order to uh, operate the application and inbuilt it will be having some sort of control process as well as data transfer process both control process and data transfer process are a part of file transfer protocol. So by the help of TCP IP pro, uh, mechanism, 
so they provide good amount of control connection as well as data connection and they access or communicate with the server which is again having a control process or a data transfer process uh, due to which the smooth exchange of data will happen this is just an overview of basic block diagram of how a file uh, uh, transfer protocol happens okay so two process will be there one is like it controls it need to control right so there will be some process the process need to be controlled so there will be having some sort of control process and whenever the data is getting transferred there should be some sort of uh, process which is going on for that there will be a block called data transfer process okay so whenever you are accessing some data from the uh, server okay so by the client okay so you will you need to have this protocol where this protocol will be having a uh, control process or as well as the data transfer process due, with, due to which the smooth exchange of data will happen now let me clear this see let's see the advantages and disadvantages of file transfer protocol the there are uh, mostly speed efficient or efficiency security and back and forth moment okay so the speed as we are using this particular file transfer protocol for exchange of data or the transmitting of the file or receiving of the file or we can also put it in this way like downloading the file the speed is very much faster compared compared to the any other protocols okay whenever the data is getting exchanged between the two computers okay and the efficiency okay and the efficiency will also the working of the protocol is also much more reliable and it is very much efficient and it also provide a huge security like username password some sort of uh, safety measures and everything will be done with the help of file transfer protocol uh, with respect to the server and the uh, client and back and forth movement means either you can uh, transfer the data or you can receive the data and uh, you can if at all you want the files back you can also get the files back uh, with respect to this particular file transfer protocol this can be considered as the main advantages and coming to the disadvantages actually this point is an advantage but a little bit complex uh, that's why i have put that in the disadvantages part like file transfer protocol transmission should be always encrypted okay due to its safety or the security always it should be encrypted it's a little bit complex process and uh, one of the main disadvantages is like it cannot allow multiple uh, receivers to uh, have a good amount of transfer simultaneously okay so simultaneously you can't uh, do uh, multiple transfers okay so and even though how much that is uh, encrypted or the safety is provided there will be always file transfer protocol password attackers will be more okay so most of the time there is a good amount of chance to have or hack that particular uh, a protocol okay so and one more disadvantage is it is not at all compatible with each and every system based on the structure or the its make and everything some protocol uh, this particular ftp protocol is not suitable for all the hosts or the machines that is one of the disadvantage